Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm actually installing this uh, Mr. Heater unit and uh, there's the model number that I'm installing. I'm going to show you how to hook this thing up. Okay guys, so here's the actual unit and uh, basically on the top of it here, this is going to be your igniter. You put a battery in there and on this side is your uh, controls. Off, and pilot, and then your heat settings. I'm going to mount it right here on this wall. On the bottom here, there's a pipe fitting right there that they give you an elbow for. Okay, there's the elbow that they give you. Um, this is all 3 8 inch. And I'm going to thread that in here and you use gas Teflon tape for on this stuff, which is this stuff right here. It's uh, yellow. Okay, here is everything that you get in this. They give you two legs. I'm not using them. I'm actually mounting them on the wall. Uh, they give you this wall mount right here. That is what I'm going to use to mount it. They give you a little bag with some screws and some anchors and a battery for your igniter. And then this is the screw pack and stuff for the legs. And then they give you this elbow. Now what I had to buy this is everything I had to buy. I had to buy a T because I'm teeing into a gas pipe. You have to buy these uh, flare nuts because you have to flare all the ends. I had to buy this fitting, which is going to go into the elbow here. And then I had to buy a shut off because they require you to have a shut off. And you have to buy this threaded nipple to add the shut off. Okay, so there's the first one. I got that in and set where I needed to go and I added, like I said, the gas Teflon tape in here. And uh, next I'm going to put in the nipple for the, uh, for the shut off because it's going to be there. Okay guys, so I installed this elbow and after I installed it I realized you can't put this on because there's not enough clearance there. So before you do this you want to make sure every your shut off is on and together before you go screwing that in. Okay, now this is the wall mount, and what it does is there's two holes in the back, and it basically hangs like that. And you have your four screws, and you take these anchors, and they fold like this, and you stick them through the wall. You have to drill a 5 16 inch hole, and then here's the screws for those. And then on the unit, there's actually two more holes down here that they want you to screw the, the back to the wall. And with those screws, you have these little spacers that are gonna keep the unit away from the wall. Okay, now as I was just looking at these, they don't give you anchors for anything for these two screws that go in by themselves. So I added two anchors that I'm gonna add. But that's what you have to do with that bottom. All right, guys, so uh, I got this thing all mounted. I used the two screws like they say. And uh, now, okay, now what they want you to do is there's actually two screws, top and bottom, on both sides. They want you to pull these screws off to remove this face so you can mount this backing plate to the wall. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, now here's your two lower mounting holes. There's one here, there's one over here. Okay, so you take your spacer now, and you put it up here, and you run your screw through here into your wall bracket, or wall anchor. 
and you got to do this on both sides. Okay guys, there it is. It's all mounted. I got access to the top there. Now it has like a gap behind the wall. So now we'll get to running the gas line. Okay guys, so now here's the gas line I'm using. It's 3 8 inch flex copper. And uh, it's, uh, it's a 3 8 OD, and then I had to get a 50 foot roll, which we're only using like 24 feet. But I'm going to uh, go ahead and show you how to flare an end for this, and I'm going to run this line. And I'm using this right here. It's called Superior Tool, and it's a flaring kit. It comes with these little two parts here. Now, this is pretty simple. Um, on this tool, it has your different sizes. Um, it goes half inch all the way up to five eighths and um, basically all you do is you loosen this up and you find the size of the pipe okay the stuff that I'm using here is the three eighths outside diameter so put it in the three eighths and what you want to do is you want to leave about an eighth of an inch of space sticking out so that you can create the flare and you just clamp this down take this little tool here spin it back a little bit so you can get it on here just like that and you set the point down in the center you just turn this until it pretty much stops and you don't want to force it just hand hand do it loosen this up remove your clamp And there's your flare. It's that simple. Okay, and then you take your flare nut then and you slide that down and it'll sit up inside there real nice. And now your compression fitting will bolt right in there and it won't leak. Okay, I got the uh, line run here. It comes down, goes under here to the shut off. So now I have easy access to shut that gas off if I need to. All right, guys, now I'm gonna check for some leaks here. And basically I just have some Dawn and some water. And now uh, all you do is just kind of run it across your, all your fittings. And if anything's leaking, you'll see it. It'll blow bubbles. Um, looks like this is all pretty good. We don't have any leaks, which is good. But that's a little trick. Instead of buying something that costs probably a fortune to check for gas leaks, you can just use a little bit of Dawn in some water. And it's not doing anything, so therefore I have no gas leak. There it is, it's all mounted. Now they give you a battery and you take and you unscrew this top and you take your battery and it says positive up. So you drop the battery in there and you put this back on and that is your starter, if you can hear it. And then like I said, this is gonna be your pilot light and I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing uh, fired up here and see how it works. All right guys, so the first thing you gotta do is you gotta bleed the, the lines. It actually took a little bit, but I'm gonna show you how you light this. Um, basically what you do here is there's this knob spins. You wanna go to pilot and you wanna push down on it and then this is your igniter, okay? 
So now whenever I do that, you look down here and I twist this knob to pilot and I push it down and I hit it and you can see the pilot light in there. Okay. And then up here on this knob, you can adjust your, your heat settings to whatever you want. Okay. So here's, here's about how it works whenever you turn it on. Okay, and that is on high, right there. And I tell you what, it puts off some heat. But there it is, that is how you install this. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, give it a share, and subscribe to our channel because I do all kinds of these little installation things.